Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Board. Better off reading every day. Today we have two fun ones for you. And I'm taking it back to my childhood. And I'm dedicating these two books to my brother. My brother Chris loves Tom and Jerry. To this day, he still watches it as a grown man. And we laugh about it every now and then, how much he really loves it. So, these are dedicated to him. Hi, brother. How are you? So, the first one is Tom and Jerry, The Big Move. And the second one is Tom and Jerry, Play and Count Book. Let's shuffle them up and I think that we shall go with the big move first because it's the tiny book it's a golden tell a tale book the big move and this is by Jean Lewis and it's illustrated by Joe Messarelli Tomcat jumped out of his shiny new cat carrier and stretched. I'm going to miss you guys when we move, he said. Move, said Jerry. Where, said Tully. Then Tom gleefully told them that the big people had sold the house. We're moving to a new place across town, he said. What about us, said Jerry. Tom laughed. Nobody takes mice along when they move. That's okay. We'll stay here with the new owner, said Jerry. This time, Tom laughed was really nasty. As soon as we move out, the exterminators come in, he added. Every one of Jerry's whiskers quivered as he snatched Tully back into the snug little mouse hole. What's wrong? gasped Tully. Jerry collapsed in an armchair. Exterminators get, exterminators get rid of mice, he exclaimed to Tully. We've got to move, said Tully. And fast, said Jerry, switching on their old mouse network computer. Every mouse in town belonged to the OMN. Each OMN member came to the rescue of any other member mouse in trouble. Calls for help were sent by personal computer. Jerry's computer only looked like a wedge of Swiss cheese. Inside each little hole was a message center. Jerry pushed all the buttons, calling all mice, help was the message that lit up on the screen. Then he typed, exterminator, lights flash, bell rung, and a tiny puff of smoke exploded from the computer. Jerry remained as calm as possible and finished punching the message. Exterminator coming here? We've got to move with Tom. The OMN sent back, need new address, will send a SWAT team over there. Tuffy snapped his fingers. The address is on the tag tied to Tom's carrier, and he scuffled out of the household into the kitchen. Luckily, Tom was snoozing. The address was easy to read. Two 
221 South Maple, 221 South Maple, chanted Tully, scu scuttling back. Got it, said Jerry, feeding the address into the computer. As they watched on the computer screen, a SWAT team of four South Maple mice with very sharp teeth drilled a mouse hole in the kitchen of the new house. We've got a new house, said Tully, but how do we get there, sighed Jerry. It's clear across town. Tully pointed out the mouse hole to Tom Carrier. In there, Jerry gasped. Inside the carrier, Jerry saw two, saw Tom's two favorite toys, rubber mouse just the size as he and Tully. He had an idea. If we dress up like Tom's toys, he said, I bet the big people wouldn't even notice us. Persuading Tom to let them hitch a ride in the carrier was easy. Tom licked his whiskers thinking, I'll really, really impress the big people catching two mice my first day in the new house. New houses don't have house, don't have mouse holes to hide in. Tom could almost taste the dish of sweet thick cream that would be his reward. Come along and be my guest. He gave the gave them a big toothy grin. By moving day, the mice had packed all their furniture in one of the big moving boxes. And now, dressed like Tom's toys, toy <clears throat> mice, they were ready to travel. As Tom helped them into his carrier, partly covering them with a towel, Jerry whispered, don't forget your real toys. Right, said Tom. He got the toys and then jumped into the carrier. Good cat said kind, a kindly voice. They carried the lid, was snapped shut. Good cat, said the kindly voice. The carrier lid was snapped shut and they were all off to their new home. After a long ride, the carrier was open. In the new kitchen, Tom jumped out to drink some milk. Meanwhile, Jerry and Tuffy tiptoed into their new mouse hole. They watched Tom watch, wash his face, sharpen his claws, and then snatch the two toy mice out of the carrier. Last stop, boys, he snarled, squeezing the toy mice. They squeaked just like any toy mice would. Then Tom saw the sign Jerry had put over the mouse hole. I've been tricked, he howled. Thrashing his tail furiously, he sat down to wait. They got to come out sometime. They've got to come out sometime, he growled. And Tom waited and waited and waited. The end of Tom and Jerry's Big Move. That was a good one, right, boys and girls? And the sign that they put up <laughs> is home sweet home. The mice had found a new home and they were still with Tom. <laughs> Very clever. And our last one is Play and Count. Tom and Jerry go out for a drive with one picnic basket. Along the lane, they see two chirping birds. In the pasture, they meet three friendly cows. At the farm,
form they see four happy hens. In the hen house, they find five baby chicks. In the garden, they admire pretty butterflies, six pretty butterflies. Woo! It happens, boys and girls. We just pick it up and continue. And... At the pond, they hear peeps of seven yellow ducklings. Among the flowers, they spot eight playful ladybugs. Tom braves nine bees to collect some honey. And Jerry gathers 10 red apples for lunch tomorrow. 10 red apples. So good, we get to do it twice, boys and girls. Play and count with Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry go out for a drive with one picnic basket. One. Along the lane, they see two chirping birds. Two chirping birds. In the pasture, they meet three friendly cows. Three friendly cows. At the farm, they see four happy hens. Four happy hens. In the hen house, they find five baby chicks. Five baby chicks. In the garden, they admire six pretty butterflies. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six pretty butterflies. At the pond, they hear peeps of seven yellow ducklings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Among the flowers, they spot eight playful ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tom braves nine bees to collect some honey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Jerry gathers ten red apples for lunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. And that is the end of our Tom and Jerry play and count book. We are enjoying a counting outing with Tom and Jerry and reading along in both English and Spanish. So this is an English and Spanish book that you could get to read along in both. So boys and girls, it is Miss Reynolds with Board. Better off reading every day. It's been my pleasure to bring these two Tom and Jerry books and there are two more over there that you could also pick up and read. Been my pleasure to bring these books to you. <sighs> I do not own the rights to any of these books, but I do love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is, I grew up on Tom and Jerry watching the cartoons all the time with my brother. And every time I see Tom and Jerry, I always think of him. And I am sending him some love today for no reason at all other than to tell him that I always think of him and I completely appreciate the fact that he watches me on YouTube every chance he gets. 
especially when he's trying to relax because apparently Miss Reynolds has a very, very relaxing voice. So boys and girls, it's that time again. It is twirl time. Yes, it is. So are you going to twirl with me? Here we go. One more. And then we're off to finish our day or night or whatever it is, wherever you are feeling happy and loved by board with Miss Reynolds. Bye.